We got two more minutes of this, and then we'll we'll take a, a little bit of homework, and then we'll finish up. So we've got ten minutes left total. <laughs> Desperation. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So, wait, so how did you get the um, Oh, from Okay, okay, gotcha. So, they, they I just have saw the I hear a bunch of things. I have more trouble finding them. No. All my data is so hard to send data because I can't find it. I tried to use Angle, but the analysis is hard. So, uh, yeah, I spent like a couple hours. So I knew I wanted this. I saw your notes on it. It wasn't This is the first time I saw it. Okay. And that was after I Okay, so I'll come back to your spot. We're going to do a little bit of discussion on the homework. Uh, everyone should at this point have an anonymous comment sheet. If you don't, let me know and I'll grab another one. Is that for comments? Yes, about this class. He told me how it worked out. So if you couldn't already tell, this uh, effort this evening was an experiment on my part. So the anonymous comments is for you to provide your feedback about this exercise. Was it useful? Was it not? Right. So I'll take your feedback and questions on that. Um, in the last session, Harsha and I were working through a constraint solving problem. So if you're not if you haven't heard of those, and I am now recording the session, by the way. Uh, so, oops, did I close the tab? Yes. All right. So, so basically, the problem that we were trying to solve in class with these little three sessions here was that we have people who have worked together in pairs, and the assignment that they've worked on. So, obviously, my method didn't work out too well, but I needed to figure out what the data structure that could represent that set of interactions was. I don't know that I've solved that yet, but um, what we came up with, so Harsh and I worked on maybe different representations of that problem. So we had sort of like a, a flow diagram and then like some pairing diagram. And lastly, we came to sort of a graph diagram, which happens to be our next class, so that's a convenient transition. Um, so basically, we wanted a graph of who worked together in pairs and then who worked on what as a directed graph. So. In the end, solving this problem is pretty messy. We didn't get to solve it there. But this is a whole genre of problems right? that I personally haven't run into too much in data science. But it's a thing that exists. And there's a Python module for it. So you don't even have to leave that. All right. Glad you enjoyed that. All right. So back to here. All right. Your notebooks are on the internet. If you want to take a look at them, this is the address of where they're at. So. This was to incentivize you to do good work, right? To, to have all the visibility. Um, the people who requested their names not be on the notebook. I think I removed those correctly. If you have an issue with that, let me know. Um, and I'll send this out so you guys have the the URL. But that's available. And then let's see homework. People are so madly scribbling. <laughs> all right. So this is a problem that has been posted in Blackboard already, so I forgot to turn it on the visibility issue. But So basically, this is a problem that I ran into. Someone gave me some data, and I was just like, great, a table of data. And then I looked at it, and I was like, what the hell's going on here? Right? So like, the issue is the field separators are not consistent. So if you try and read it in with a single field separator, pandas will not recognize the data. And so the challenge to you is I want the data in a data frame because it is, in fact, a table. But the problem is that it's inconsistently formatted. So you'll have to figure out, using your Python skills, how to parse that data structure and get it into a data frame. So that's the problem. 
basically I give you the CSV, you give me back a Python notebook. Any questions? So I think I'm gonna skip over the whole design sort of like thing so we've gotten that spent it in. Questions on that? You just want us to prove that we can edit this again. Yeah. But correctly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Using Python. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that would be in a single pass? No. You can have it really inefficient as long as it runs within three minutes. And the CSV is not that big. <laughs> so. All right. Any other questions? Those are good clarifying questions. It doesn't have to be fast or optimal. Okay. All right. And again, on this, so as I mentioned at the beginning of class, uh, the last time that I did this request, I got seven out of 20 answers back. So I'm looking hopefully for a little better participation rate. The incentive for you is that I can uh, tune the difficulty of the homework to fit how long I think it should be taking you. So this is your incentive to participate. So you wanted our influence? <laughs> Either. <laughs> um, I mean, it takes like four hours. You can like four separate emails from there? No, no, no. Just the first hour. Just say like, I've got this far in the first hour. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it is an incomplete. So it is an incomplete measurement, right? But it's a good way for me to scan across and say like, well, where is everybody at? Because if everybody finishes in ten minutes, it was too easy, right? Or if everybody has gotten almost nowhere in the first hour. It's like a single measurement, right? Not too costly, but getting me enough data to make some estimates. All right. And I think that's it. Okay, so any other questions? Feedback. Please fill out your forms, turn in your name tag, and the anonymous comments with feedback about this class. Okay. Thank you. So it's good time like you know, like mean like Uh yes, So like those are like searchable and like mean it's like yes. Poorly searchable. I'm here again. Yes. I'm also here. <laughs> So, I, I can I can make this for the class. Okay. So as soon as I just open my office, I just I can I can do it. Can I read? Wait, did you read the? the I didn't. I read the reading. Okay. I didn't even look at the email. I said we can open or something. Ah. I just opened it because I can open it. I just opened the link and I was just like doing everything straight. <laughs> So wait, you're asking for a second attempt? Yes. Okay. So the second one is my project. Let me show you. This one you give me 73 or something. Yes. What did I do? Did I do something very So don't give me your attention. If you look in the so in the grade that I gave you, there's a number. Yeah, the projects are pretty significant. Uh, yeah, so if you click on that one. Potential points, and this is the points that I gave you. So, so for instance, we, we can scroll. Yeah, 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 exactly. 
Yeah, if you have feedback, let me know. Sure. I'll open it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that now before I forget. But, and then I'll actually help you out. Okay. No, then the the second the one that has to do with count, I submitted that one list. I know you are going to. I will grade that. Yeah. So let me grade it and let me see where I am. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want me to wait for you to give me this? No, no, no. Okay.